I'm um, doing a video on Dorado Defense today. Um, I kind of have a lot to show you. Um, I picked a game where, you know, the payload moves a bit because I want to show you guys how I kind of change um, how the um, how the map changes, how what I do differently. So um, I don't like this setup. I actually ask the Reinhardt. I like to defend right under the choke. Um, I actually asked the Reinhardt here if he can come down. I'm hanging up here just for a couple of seconds because I still don't know what the DPS is. And I saw that there's a tracer. I kind of use it just a little bit just to figure out what's going on. So um, I'm trying to get over there to get tracer. Um, right now, nothing really going on. You know, they're still moving the payload up. But as you can see, I fly up high, and look at the view I have here. It's totally unobstructed. I can clearly see that, like, nobody can really get me up there. Um, you're gonna see me do that a few times. When you fly up there, you almost kind of get stuck. And you get, like, four or five seconds of just clear safety. Um, you'll see me do that a few times. So just if, if there was a Pharah, I would hang out in this room a little bit more, but there isn't. Um, but that's a different, you know, different video style I'll have to do for avoiding Pharah. Um, they have a Tracer and a, and a Genji. Um, this is probably a little mistake I did right there. I probably could have saved the uh, Reinhardt, but we do have a Teleporter. Um, so you can see me starting to heal Tracer, but I'm not looking at her. I'm kind of looking around because things are getting a little bit heated because the enemy's trying to push. But again, look, I'm behind the team. Nothing they can do there. They can't get me, and if they did get me, it would be like one heck of a play. So Genji's after me, so I kind of go in here hoping to walk over the health pack, but it's not there, and I run into that. And I like to think that I'm like a Soldier 76 sometimes. <laughs> but thankfully Tracer killed him. Again, staying up in the air. You can see here, I'm totally safe. Nobody can get me. Look how nice that works out, you know? You're gonna see me do that kind of loop a few times. Um, it's actually quite helpful. That pillar is good, the one I was just at to break line of sight. You hear Lucio ult, you hear Lucio ult, you hear Zanyata ult. That's your cue to get out of the area because chances are the team's making a push. Um, I decided to resurrect there because two people were dead and I was backed up on the wall there with, uh, Roadhog, you know, a lot of it is just hook your beam on to somebody and look for your ne next escape, you know. So I see Tracer there, I get the beam onto Zarya, but you can see Farah's kind of floating, and I was wishing that she would go up a little higher. You would, you can always tell them that to go up high, because I get brutally murdered by Tracer there. But I want you guys to see just how good how good this tracer has to be to take me out. And I still started trying to get away. You know, she's gotta be perfect. And that's what that's what you wanna see. You wanna see deaths where the enemy has to be perfect to take you out. If that happens, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm okay with it. You know, what else can you do? I really don't really know what more I could have done there. But forcing the enemy team to have to be perfect is what's really going to make you rise in this game, because very rare are you going to see somebody be that perfect to kill you. And I kind of, I don't know, I was trying to, hoping to stall the payload there. But you can see I didn't just run out right away. I kind of was trying to pull in reinforcements, but at the end there I tried to just hold, try to stall the payload, but it didn't work. Um, so now we're back. You want to use these, that house up there on the top, you want to use that bridge. Those are all means of ways where you can stay up high, because I'm being... Don't forget, we have Tracer, we have Soldier also now. I believe they switch from Genji to Soldier. And see how i healing him without even having to go on. I Guardian Angel, but then cut it off and just floated to stay safe there. Um, so there's Tracer, so immediately I'm like, goodbye. I fly over here, but all of a sudden I start taking damage constantly, and I don't know where it's from. So immediately I just said, I'm out. I ducked out of there and I went behind here to just kind of get some health back. Take those seconds to get your health back. 
and uh, stay safe. And I hear the soldier ult, and then I assume he's up there, that's what they like to do. But what I was hoping to do here, as you watch me die, is still get value out of it. I tried to move back to pull him off that ledge. You know, even though you're dying, you can still, every little bit helps. I knew if I walked back, I could pull him off that ledge, and that's exactly what happened. So, and he's dead. So, um, again, watch me heal Roadhog, but it's too dangerous, so I keep the beam on him, and I just jet out. You know, you can't save everybody, and if I tried to totally stay there the whole time, I may have died. Thankfully, he healed himself. You gotta try to remember that. Roadhog can heal himself quicker than anybody in the game. So, don't prolong your stay. You know, I hooked a beam on, and then I said, I got out. I was like, I'm, I still can heal him, like, at least 200 in that, you know, time span. So, just don't overextend yourself to save one person, because if you die, we're gonna lose that point, you know? So, enemy team is regrouping. So, I'm behind the, um... Winston, he turns around and starts hitting me, so I immediately just fly to the uh, Pharah. And, um, now watch here. I come across, and then I see Soldier there, so I duck down, and I just, I just cut off, you know, um, flying. He's coming down for me, so I just went right back up. You know, it's kind of like dodging the whole time. I get the beam onto Roadhog again, but I'm but it's too dangerous here, so I literally just fly across to the Pharah. Constantly healing people, but you can still do it at a safe range, you know? You can stay up here, that's fine, but you can't overextend your time. The enemy will catch on to it, and they'll come after you. You know, you can constantly gotta be changing your positioning. Because if I stay up here too long, there's probably a soldier coming up behind me. So, you won't see me uh, hang out there long. The Roadhog got killed there, he was kind of in a bad position. He shouldn't uh, push the head too much like that. Uh, so, Pharah's ulting. Always keep your beam on her. I'm in trouble, obviously. So, you know, I, I don't I don't know what the, how much value... Because like, if you watch this, Every soldier ult at this level has Mercy's name written all over it. But watch when I ult. Look at how much of his ult he has to waste. Literally his whole entire ult was used just killing me. One person. I mean, usually soldier can ult and kill three people. You know, so it costed me resurrect, but look how quickly you can still get it back. You know, I'm going to get my ult faster than him. The Winston jumped up there, and I was like, awesome, because it's just another chance for me to go up even higher. You know, use Winston, use D.Va, use obviously Farah to keep yourself up high, because down here was Winston and Tracer, and we do not want to be down here, okay? This is a sure way to get killed. So, Lucille ults, and you can see all I'm doing is damage boosting, because nobody needs to be healed at that moment, you know? Whenever you hear that Lucille ult, make sure that you're damage boosting. And we ended up holding them at the point. So, thank you guys, everybody who has new subscribers, everybody who's been watching my stream. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I hope you gained a little bit of knowledge from this. Thanks.